Holy Wild. Huh. Um, so I'm going to read two poems for you tonight from Holy Wild. And I guess, you know, the sub-theme of this collection is really shitty white cis men, um, which is very topical <laughs> for reasons that I'm not going to name, <laughs> but um, was my own personal, you know, shitty, shitty white cis men um, in particular. But I think they're all sort of very much alike, you know, um, manifest destiny and all that sort of thing. Um, so I, I thought I would read these two poems, not in honor of shitty white men, but I guess as a response to shitty white men to do something that they can never do, which is be beautiful and brilliant at the same time. <laughs> Mostly they can just like ejaculate in five minutes and then go cry on Twitter. <clears throat> Forgiveness. Forgiveness is a road you walk alone toward yourself. At the beginning and the end of the road is the shadow of your childhood, asleep in the fallen trees, waiting for you to return to everything you've lost. This is the last poem I will write about you. I have carried you through nights like the robin I found as a kid, its wings broken, held from flight. All it could be was longing for the sky. Once you said you wanted lovers to let you be yourself without the rules of masculinity, to greet you like a storm meets the city in summer, dry heat becoming moisture, lightning between condo towers, momentary sound and light breaking new ground inside our bones. The truth is, you are the only one who asks more from love than what you are. Embrace yourself. We let go in April because spring means counting what remains. I name you and what's gone in the hours of sunlight returning. This winter, we built a second house in the ruins of the first, but I can't make you value a softness you don't want. Still, we must remember to leave an offering for all the ghosts we make. I am not afraid if we're already gone. You are in me now. Our nested hearts wear a chorus of night insects swell. Your hand and mind repeats nightly. May we always have enough mercy for every wounded animal, find water in every dry forest. This is what you should have learned from my lips, explorer. How to forgive what runs at dusk. How to hold the threads of dawn. To be gentle when mercy abandons us. I have spent spring letting you go, but you return like the full moon above the pines, distant but still close enough to cast shadows. I read one of your poems once. In it, a woman says you're haunted, her words repeated in your voice felt like a matchstick burning down. One of your friends tells me it's only as bad as it feels, which means it's worse than anyone knows. I read a story about a woman with a lover who rapes her and then sends an email saying he needs space. I cry at my desk, embarrassed, asking, why does this story make me think about you? No. You get nothing more from me than the sound of rain through the windows. The season returns to wash away everything we were. Forgiveness isn't knowing why you hurt me. It's walking home in damp shoes, believing the truth lives somewhere underground. It re reaches out, pushes up to the light through sidewalks and paved driveways. When it comes, you will be gone, but I will be here in a place I carry in me like a promise. You never held me like I was this truth or this forgiveness, but I am, I will be. I'm already more than you can ever be. For that, only that, I forgive you for everything. And then this last poem. It's funny, though, with... Sorry, back on this riff. Shitty white men. Um, the, it's funny. They never really get that forgiveness part, you know? Everybody else is kind of used to, like, letting things go and moving on with your life. And they 
they don't seem to get that. And I feel like that's actually kind of a tragedy, you know? I, they need to, like, do Molly or something. Or quaaludes, are those still a thing? I don't know. Some kind of mind-altering drug, and then just really think hard about forgiving people. That's my unsolicited advice to a room mostly full of, I think, white cis men. Um, I can't run very fast in these heels, so if you want to get me later, it's, you can probably kill me pretty easily. But I do have a knife in my bag, though, so fair warning. And remember, I was taking all of that meth earlier, so <laughs> hard to say, hard to say. I can fight you off. Um, I'm going to read this poem tonight um, because Kinesia is the reason that it... it it exists. Kinesia is an amazing editor. And, you know, she went through the whole book with me and we were almost done in our last edits. And then she sent me a poem by Denez Smith tonight in Oakland, which is an incredible poem, um, and demanded that I write something better, something more. And I sat with that for a while and cursed her name loudly and then wrote this poem called Tonight. Tonight, I'm tired of being your ghost a small nothing you pour your body into. Tonight I hold you in my throat like birth. Tonight I breathe with you, rest my cheek on yours, then let you go to the other girl waiting. Place your hand between my legs, force your mouth down to my breasts, let you lift me by my hips, throw me against the wall. I fall apart beneath you. You fuck me, incoherent and crying. Tonight, I'm as ready to live as I am to die. After we come, I ask you if you know how hide becomes soft as you check your phone to text her back. I say, first you cut the skin from the animal, blood against blade, reveal the bones, the wild muscle, the ruptured heart, then dry and wash the brain crushed into the skin. Leave to soak, hang in the afternoon sun, Rinse, repeat, until the new body emerges from the broken open. The animal dies but isn't gone, becomes as soft as it was hard. You don't understand a word of this, but I let you trace my lips with your fingers. I bite them and smile. I close my eyes when you kiss me goodbye. I walk home as you go to fuck her. You text me at 4 a.m. I love you and... I'm sorry I hurt you. Your love repeats my history. Your ancestors saw the infinite of this land, named it fear, and tried to kill it. You saw me and didn't know if you should love me or run from me. Tonight, I let you do both. But I won't be the cis girl in your bed. I didn't come here to sing your wounded body whole, though evergreens bloom between my legs and tobacco leaves grow inside my heart. Tonight, I will be more than the dead trans girl on the news, more than the noble Indians in your land acknowledgement. Tonight, he will conquer me, and I will not disappear. This is how I know I am holy. Tonight, my body is not terra nullis, and you won't save me. I am the wild that is not empty, the animal that is not dead, and the girl you won't call yours. But this is not a prayer, and we are not sinners to be redeemed. I will not call you wrong to be afraid to love me in your bed at daylight, even if bruises on my thighs flower from your mouth by dawn. I am not a confession you make in secret, nor a servant of God to rest my hands on your face and forgive you for sins I don't believe in. I am not Eve's daughter, but Ayash returned to Aki. I will not explain what these words mean, even if I love you more than I love myself. I will text you back a heart emoji. Because tonight, I am not the ghost you leave behind, but a softness you will never know how to be. Miigwech. Miigwech.